Aloha. So, what we're going to do for um, this order of operations is uh, we need to make sure that we are first found our rows of operations. So, first thing we always want to look for is look for parentheses. And here we don't see any parentheses, do we? So, therefore, we can kind of skip that and say, all right, the next thing in order of operations is to work on our exponents. So, I'm going to do uh, evaluate all my exponents that I can for this problem. 5 squared leaves me 25 times 4 minus 5 times 16 all over 5 times 4. Then the next thing um, that works for is saying multiplication and division. All right, now here where it comes a big part of a problem. A lot of people say, well, I have multiplication, but then I'm dividing, so I have to do the dividing for subtraction. And it gets a little bit confusing when you have a, um, a problem that's as a quotient or as a big you know, rational problem or division problem. What we need to make sure we do is, before we can divide the top and the bottom, we need to simplify the top and simplify the bottom. All right, we cannot, um, you gotta remember, this whole top is being divided by five times four. Every single one of these numbers is being divided. So before we can you know, actually divide it out, we need to simplify it. So let me kind of explain a little more. So the next thing I said is to do multiplication and division, right? Well, to do multiplication and division, let's multiply, let's get all these multiplication problems done. So 25 times four, that's gonna leave me 100. Five times 16 is gonna leave me 80. And five times four gives me 20. Now, we can do this two different ways. We could say, you're supposed to do division next, right? Mm -hmm. Right, either multiplication or division. So you could do 20 divided by, or 10 divided by 20, and 80 divided by 20, and then subtract, right? We could do it that way. Another way, though, we could also do this is, since these are both divided by 20, we could actually split this up and just, or I'm sorry, we could split this up into like this. Or what we could also do is um, just do 100, 100 minus 80, which is going to be 20 over 20, which is going to leave you 1. And I'm trying to look at that. Right. Because then this is 100 over 20 gives you 5. 80 minus 20 gives you 4, which leaves you 1. So those are kind of two different ways to solve for it. A lot of times when you deal with the quotient note, it's a lot easier to simplify the top and then to divide them at the end. So, and you might think, oh, it's violating the PEMDAS rule. Well, not really, because you could split it up the division problems if you wanted to. So that's how you do um, PEMDAS when you're dealing with a quotient.